Yes, he yes. He sang to one mic. Yes. Open mic, sorry. Open, Open mic, mic, yes. The same one as Makazi. Yes, same yes. one as... Oh, oh, he might not own his masters. Because oh. there's no record label that just gives you to own your... Mo- Who? Who? No one signs you and you own your masters. Imagine not owning the no, master of Jerusalem. Own no, ah. he doesn't own... Morse Kant. He doesn't own the masters to Jerusalem. Really? Ah, we can't, we can't, can't confirm or to, deny. Go to court and have a court battle. And then, though, you'll call that Bethlehem. <laughs> 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 Once you sign your rights away, you can't fight it, eh? <laughs> Once you. Enda! Amen! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Podcast and chill, baby. Back like we never left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost ladies here. Soul is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am here. The pool is here. Yes. Beautiful weather. Yes. Oh, man. It's a beautiful day in Joburg today. After it has been so hot for a couple of days. It's been blazing. It's been blazing. blazing. What what were you saying about the cyclone? What's happening? Yeah, there's a cyclone that is coming from, is it Madagascar? Or was it Mozambique? Think, no, but now it's reached Mozambique. Oh, so it's from yeah. So it's actually there's elsewhere. like floods there, and it's said to even come into South Africa. So there's possibilities that people are scared. I know out there. Damn. Yeah. The year's yeah. just started, guys. I know. Yeah. Shame, I know. Man. And we're still going through Corona. Yo. Yo speaking of Corona, I had such a bad, bad week, man. One of my friend's mother oh. passed away. Oh. Ish, dude. Oh. It's sad, bro. Hey, man. There's a lot of those right So have now. you been there? Because there's always that whole uh, 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 weird situation when someone close passes on and it's a corona situation. Mm. Do you now go to the house? And some people don't understand if you tell them, hey, bro, it's COVID. Mm. I can't come and expose myself. Yeah. to get me? Yeah. yeah. People find it like it's a bit rude or unfriendly like, yeah. you know? Yeah. So did you go? Have you been to the house? No, 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 no. Mm. Yeah, you and see you find yourself know. like going through like such selfish moments. You know when you hear someone got COVID. Oh, I was there. Hey, okay, they must not come close to me. You know, like it's just instead of uh, the, having to do you support, do you stay away? It's all of these things. I think you support, but people must also be. I know it's it's not it's easier said than done, mm. especially when you've just lost a parent. But you'd expect some level of understanding. Right, that hey man, there's we're in the middle of a pandemic, yeah. and I just lost someone I lived with in the house. So clearly, this thing is here in the house on the surfaces. You know what I mean? So you must be understanding of people if they do not come. Mm. They may show support in other ways, but I think it can be a bit understanding. Ish, yeah. Jackson and Timbo as well. Oh. Oh. Jackson and Timbo, the funeral is happening. Well, on as, Sunday it happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. It is. Larry King. Did they follow? Larry King. Larry, oh, and also the, the jazz musician. Jonas Kwanga. He's got the Lee. famous song, the famous wedding song. Yeah, it's a yeah. famous... It's a song you know, but you probably don't know it's him. Oh, I know that song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Home. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, I know that Kwanga. song. Everybody yeah. knows. It's a famous wedding song. Yeah. yeah, that's Jonas Kwanga, man. That and Brenda Farsi, Weekend Special. Oh, oh yeah, yes. but yeah. <laughs> oh, Brenda Trey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of Brenda Vuli girl as a yeah. wedding song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Brenda's good. And Jonas he actually passed on the same day as Hugh and um, Oliver Mtukuzi. Oh, fl- yes. are you serious? So imagine all these jazz, like these musicians. Greats. Greats, actually. Wow. Like, same day. I know Hugh, I think Hugh was like 2018. Mm, and Hugh was friends yes. with Oliver. And then the year later, 2019, was... Oliver Mtukuzi. Oliver. Wow, the same that day. is so cool. Did you guys do history in school? No. Huh? Mm, okay, just no. checking. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a history with books <laughs> and newspapers, yeah. um, publications these days. Yeah. Hey, but this guy reads a lot, bro. He does. This guy knows a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. I know someone was asking me, I was like, why does so uh, know so much? And I'm like, so reads. I, 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 don't, I know m- much, but I still don't know a lot. Because I know s- much about stuff I'd find interesting. And then sometimes, like, really basic things. 
I forgot or I don't know mm -hmm. to get me. So I think it's up to your interests. But I feel like if you read anything, it's just beneficial to you. Anything, Jay. Random stuff. But you like to absorb information. Yeah, I think true, that's I another do, thing I do, about I do, you. I do, yeah. I do. The, the, the other day, I was, we were going to the car train. Yeah. And then we see these bikers. And then he started breaking down the whole thing of how these bikers work and whatever. It was so interesting. Wow. Oh, no, Just like how he did Westcliff, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's because, you see, that's the thing. If I come across something I find interesting, I will then research it. It's because of Sons of Anarchy that oh, I watched. Yeah, yeah. So when I saw these, I was explaining to MacGyver, you know, the patches. They're called patches, yes. what they were on the back. Yeah. And then I told them that you see the clean one, that's the new member because you're not allowed to watch, uh, wash those things. They don't wash their leather jackets at all. Oh. Yeah, and even females aren't allowed to touch them unless you get permission. Mm. That can I move this thing from here to there? So I was explaining him the hierarchy of how it goes and... You know? Yeah. Mm. I was schooling him. But wow. it's like, I think I, we, can, we should like have now, a feature. Like now I'm watching, I'm, I'm watching Vikings. <laughs> yeah, that's See, my exactly, shit. And you read up about yeah. all these guys. Ragnar Lovebrook. Yeah. Yes. Skull. Yes, King Athelstan. Yeah. You know, Wessex and all these mm. places. Because with, with Vikings, it actually happened. Um, maybe not detail for detail, but it follows a, 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 a history. A, yeah, the yeah. history of okay. Vikings, Scandinavia, England, and yeah, man. But that bike shit sounds it's like a, a cult, man. It yeah. almost is. It almost is. That thing, bro, it's so like, well, sac not sacrilegious, but it's. It's, like it's who got touches rules. it? You don't touch it. It's yes, like it's got rules. It's got rules, like uh, rules. But if you notice one thing, a lot of them don't mention that they're not allowed to have black people because a lot of them, like, you'll find, you'll never find a black member of Hell's Angel. Mm. Hell's Angels, which is one of the biggest ones in the world. I mean, there's branches in South Africa, even websites for Hell's Angels. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then there's uh, one percentage because at some point in the US where this whole thing started, um, government was like, no, these guys are criminals, etc. And then uh, the Bikers Association or something said, no, only one percent of bikers are criminals and they are involved with drugs, prostitutions, wow. uh, peddling, etc. And then that's how, if a lot of times, if you see bikers, some would have 1% mm. badges. It means that 1% is. Um, but some, it's just a fashion statement. But originally, it meant that those guys do partake in criminal activities. Like if you've watched Sons of Anarchy, Sons, yeah, Sons those of guys Anarchy. would be, you know, because they sell guns, yeah. then they went into the drug trade, etc. But generally, most clubs are harmless. They're just mm. guys riding out on Sundays. They have normal jobs, yeah. like accountants, mm. etc. They just ride on Sundays. After saying all of that, now he wants us to stop and say hi to them. I'm like, are you fucking... Oh, yeah, I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> like on the freeway because they stopped I think they were waiting for someone who was yeah. lagging behind and yeah. I was like let's say hi let's say hi like, wow. I'm just I'm scared of these guys <laughs> they were 1% us yeah <laughs> exactly Shame it was it. a dumb thing actually yeah. thank yeah. you you saved our lives but you know which cult I want to join I want to join a cult where you know they go to like the, 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 the desert yeah and they like have a campsite yeah. and they drink ayahuasca all night oh. and everybody just fucks each just other. And they yeah, oh. that's the shit. I see those kind yeah. of those, those hippie kind of guys. Yeah. Right? But you know, if you go, like, let's say your partner, that there's a main guy generally there, he can bang your partner. Yeah. Are you I want to be that? the, no, I want to be the main guy. No, <laughs> you have to work up. Eh? You have to work up. <laughs> I want to pretty ugly this thing, I'm just banging everybody. <laughs> She said they don't swing. <laughs> she didn't really say explicitly. But, no, she, but she was on the comments. She didn't deny it. No, no. She was she she came back on the comments. Oh. Yeah. On on uh, YouTube. Yes. Actually, and just went and like, guys, we don't swing. It was MacGyver who put the thing on your head. <laughs> so I actually I was like, oh wow. She actually was there on the comments, like straight up. What did you think of the episode though? It was cute, lovely. Nah. So yes. genuine. Mm. Like it's it's those celebrities that you would have not thought about. Yes. But you're like, wow, you've got such an interesting interesting story to tell. Mm. And yeah, I, I enjoyed Beautiful it. Soul. Hey, did you guys see Naga, hashtag Naga for Shaka is <gasps> trending? Hey, Naga for Shaka <laughs> trending! <laughs> Chillers are the fucking best. I was like, Thank you're you. famous! <laughs> Nobody knows me still. <laughs> <laughs> I need the role for real now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jill is an amazing oh, man. man. Guys, what a joke. Though. It just shows the power of unity. Like, yeah. if we all come together, exactly. we can do amazing things. You know? One small thing. Just yeah. The hashtag. You don't even have to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> People just, when, like, yo, uh, 
Yes. He will listen to anything we say. Shit, on my way here now, ne? Uh-huh. So we see uh, this this homeless lady, mm. and she's got a kid. Oh. And I'm I'm feeling sorry, man. You know, like I'm like, damn. I you know what can you do? Yeah. Give her some money. Okay. So I was like, nah, bro. She hired this kid. It's not even hers, man. <laughs> no, some do. Uh, some but, do. There no, was, some do. There was a trend. For there real. was a trend. Yeah. And that's special, a real thing, guys. Yeah. Special assignment. I think special assignment or oh. one of the degrees, one of those TV shows. They covered it ages ago. These mm. people, if you don't have a kid, or maybe now your kid is too grown, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, there's no pity when you see the kid. They can <laughs> yeah. hire a kid. There's, they've got like, Supply chains, you know, mm. of, like someone hires the kids or gathers the kids, or maybe it's just a matter of, you know, someone with the kid, like, yeah. and, you know what I mean? Uh, and I saw him, he gave money. Yeah. And I was like, the only reason you're giving that cash is because this woman is begging. Yeah, because with she the kid. A kid. Yeah. She's not disabled. I mean, we live in a, I mean, well, this is a suburban area. I don't live in a suburban area. Mm. It's a suburban area. There's houses. She works. I mean, she's able. She can mm. do jobs, right? But obviously now, maybe Clean let's houses. say it is her child, but then how can she go to work with that child? <clears throat> if it is genuinely her child. Okay. But I agree. If your maid yeah. has a child, and because you've got, a, well, a helper has yeah. a child, mm-hmm. and she <laughs> asks you, can my child, can I bring my child? He's not going to mess up. I've got packed food for the child. Are you going to say no? No, I wouldn't. Exactly. So there's no excuse. You've got a kid who's not even three. You can take the kid if you found a job uh, cleaning a house. I mean, so basically every... what you guys are saying is it's time to put Ziggy to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this mic stand keeps falling. You know, come hold, hold this mic stand. You must work. Not the kid, man. Come on. Shame, man. And the, and the poor kid doesn't even know what the hell is nah. happening, man. It's a for mess. me, I feel like Nothing. what I always get scared of is like, because you see these kids, they start growing and maybe the baby starts crawling. Like one moment you could be there begging and what if the child walks into the road? Jeez. You know, those things, are, those are the things that just freaks me out because I'm like, mm. you're being so negligent. This mm. is not right to be standing in this traffic with the baby. But clearly they must be making a lot of money, ne? Oh, they do. Ne? Clearly. They make, they make money, good money. Bro. Like I think Sorry, go on. No, no, I was saying the, with that special assignment or you said, where did you watch it? And yeah. I think they broke down how much they could make a day. Exactly. Like, obviously, like thousands sometimes. You know. Yeah. You gave her five bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? How many cars? For the sake of the podcast, 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, this guy went to the tray, the ashtray, <laughs> and there was a 50 red note, a 20 red note, a 10 red note. Oh. Oh. Bloody bastard went to the five red. <laughs> I felt bad. I'm like, oh, this guy. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. And you did ah. not help the situation. You are telling her, I mean him, that no, um, chances no, are she's because even... No, because of the child, no. I'm not going to give. Okay. You've got a child there. Because now I'm, 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 I'm... Becoming an enabler. Motivating you even more. more. Or I'm... I'm promoting you bringing in a child. I'm perpetuating yeah. the whole bring a child, they feel pity for you. Because she knows when she stands there alone, he wasn't going to give the cash. Yeah, yeah. 100%. And plus, and then you'd find the situations where actually it's even men, their partner, who's saying, go and stand with the child mm. and, and do, do that oh. and get money. Dude, yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, imagine. So I now know. she comes back with probably like 500 trend. It's like, out. Oh, a day. Okay, Yo. go back tomorrow again. It's like, uh, wh- where's the father of the child even? You know, wh- wh- all of these things. Like, ish. Shit, man. Anyway, what's been happening? What happened this week, bro? Yo, uh, Dr. Basson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Basson, oh, yeah. That guy trended. Dr. Death. Dr. Death, yes. yes. The party doctor. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So yes. that's yeah, the I read guy, about that, yeah. yeah. He was helping, you know, uh, research on how to cull the black population during apartheid, uh, how to make us not have kids, and how to kill us via chemical warfare. Mm. So uh, he's operating. At some medic clinic, clinic, medic yeah. clinic hospital, hospital. Mm. in Cape Town, right? Yeah, yeah. And so people are like, "Dude, this is the guy who was responsible and planning to kill millions of Black South Africans based on simply their color." We understand yeah. he got he got a mandate from the government then, but how is that he was operating? The debate, right? Like, oh. yes, people are like, "No, but this is these are not his personal views. He just got a a, a, a brief mm. or a tender, if you can put it simply." By the government, mm. you know, so that's been trending. Obviously. But surely they must have known if they were going to appoint them that this would happen. Yes, surely as, someone. But what do you guys coming. think? As good as he is, 
I mean, because he's flipping brilliant. And obviously, if you're hired by the government, you know, to oversee certain operations you're good at what you do mm. should he operate because obviously he's saved some lives yeah post apartheid but it doesn't it doesn't change the fact that no he must operate just not on us <laughs> <laughs> so so if you had a family member yeah who needs help and he's the only guy in the country can help Ooh. Ooh, that's tricky Ooh. are you flying to cape town and paying the guy to save your loved one? Mm, 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 mm. It's a tricky one, eh? Mm. It's like, mm. yes. yes. What do you do, actually? Because he wants the bag. He is going to save. Yeah. He is going to save your loved one. He's not going to say, because the, the thing is, if someone else could say, if he wasn't racist, then he would you would have declined the game. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, but also, chances are he maybe is. But it doesn't really prove that his race is the fact that he accepted the gig because it just could have been for the money. Mm. But in this instance, he will. And what would you do no then? Harm it, eh? I'd, would you, I'd send. You'd send? Yeah. Mm. I'd send. Because like, if... I would send. At the end of the day, I want someone to live, my loved one, yeah. say, touch wood, my daughter. I want her to live, bro. Mm. And I'll pay the guy whatever it takes. You know what I mean? Whether he did what before... Because anyway, you still don't know the history of your basic person. You Any doctor from. that you actually consult with, you, you don't, don't know. know. Yeah. If and how many stories have we heard about just coming out from doctors? And exactly. Just, like, done, you know. But I'm surprised he didn't get his license revoked by what? What are they called? HP Health Professionals Health Council Professional, South Africa, yeah. mm. HPCSA. Yeah. Because Dr. Cindy Fenzel once had a thread, and she said that with doctors generally. It's guilty till proven innocent because doctors are held to a higher uh, uh, moral standard. Yeah. Right. So if you've done even the smallest thing in the past, uh, it it will uh, badly affect your profession, or you could get your license revoked. So I'm surprised. So yeah. But oh, and uh, all it takes really is people to send an email because mm. there are platforms like emails where you can mm. report, just like you can report any reporter or whatever f- uh, uh, to the press ombudsman mm. you can do that with any profession any profession speaking about AXA for accountant no psycha for accountant in south africa etc mm. so you could do that and if people feel so strongly about this doctor still practicing don't attack medic clinic because they just provide suits for him to work from yeah. or the hospital for him to work from he's actually registered with the license people who grant the licenses mm. hpcsa so people must send emails there what's going on with Tomizi and, and and these journalists oh yeah speaking of journalists no hey so me what, what happened has... um, <laughs> eh? so has been training like every week now yeah. lately yeah. like every yeah. day yeah. Yeah. Every the day. journalist said what to him um there was a dispute okay we wanted him to comment on Obviously, the allegations about his husband. Um, she she SMS them. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So they had a conversation, a kind of like a um, asking, and then Mm-mm. he then ended up broadcasting that, right? Mm, like on he just Instagram. yeah on his Instagram just took screenshots yeah, of took the SMS. Yeah, took and obviously mm. there was the phone numbers of the gen. Uh, yes. the wow, yeah. that's savage. Yeah. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and he said, if you're gonna now uh, invade my privacy, here's your phone numbers out there. My people, do your thing. Mm. Does Sumiz have a name for his stance? Doesn't eh? he? Nah, like, nah, nah, nah. Do your thing. Mm. And yeah, and so people have been saying he must apologize, which I feel he should. Mm. Mm. Yeah, which he well, he well stood up for himself and said he wants not, he's not gonna stand Why? up like to be bullied. You well, know, because journalists, it's almost like they put you in this position and then they cry foul, like, oh, you know, but you are the one who's also like you know, you invade my privacy and then you don't want, if we don't respond, or you just make any allegations without any evidence. Yes, yes, yes. that yes, was yes. One, another thing. It's like, give me evidence because for, before you even just put up something. And they're no lazy evidence. now. Yo, they're yeah. getting okay. lazy. True, though. The journalist was lazy also. Yes. But, true or false, has Somizi not, and the husband, Muhale, have they not well documented their relationship in hence, public? Hence, we remember when we would ask, because we've spoken, we've spoken about them, like yeah. I think like, some weeks back, we were like, yeah. are they still even together? And my thing was like, I feel like they're no longer together because they were always documenting themselves. Thank they you. were taking pictures every Thank day and all you. of this. 
But then the thing is, what now the journalists did, they went to an, and said, Mukhale is cheating. Or he was... Um, they they made assumptions. Yeah, they just yeah so shade. some assumptions that he's with a married man even. So it was all of these was like, whoa, I think that's where it all started. Mm. There are issues between the, so, with the journalists. Yeah, I feel like if you, 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 you put your relationship out there, I mean, the wedding was streamed. It's always been mm. a public thing. And then if now it... It stops. That feeding of the public, feeding the relationship to the public, if it stops, of course journalists are going to ask you something. Mm, and mm. you're so easy, bro. You've yeah. been in the game since Molo Fish. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Since Sarafina. Sarafina. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, you have no, been, up, no. you been out there while you're, you're still inside the closet. <laughs> <laughs> so come on. You people, journalists have your numbers, even if you change your numbers. <laughs> you're like, hey, Lister, you're a yeah. list a South African celebrity. You're up there in the hierarchy. But he was wrong, though, for just putting up the numbers. He was wrong. <laughs> because though. now, what? Because now, he's putting up the numbers. It's a similar thing to Trump, right? He did not say people must invade the capital, but... When he says, take your justice uh, back, uh, own whatever. And then people start s sending insults to this lady. Yeah. Now that's abuse. It's abuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, that yeah. is a, that's straight out abuse, bro. Yeah. And yes, you did not say people must abuse the lady, but you're responsible because you put the, uh, the, the numbers, numbers out, out in public. Mm. And she was getting death threats. She, and thank you. Rape threats. Then, and, the, and then funny like, enough, the likes of Penny Libyan didn't come and defend so easy. She had a threat. On Twitter, and she's been a GBV uh, 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 champion. Yes, 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 yes. You know, she's been the f like, especially with a few people that she knows personally, and you know what I mean. So I find that very weird, especially ce celebrities are like no to violence, whatever. Mm. And then, look, I agree. The journalist was lazy, and so music could have simply said, "Stop being lazy. You're yeah. the journalist, yeah. right? You're fishing whether my husband is cheating or not." No, he's not cheating. Go away. Yeah. Simple, though. Yeah. Simple. Or no comment. I get it. They like no yeah, comment. Yeah, they what like no comment. No comment. Exactly. Yeah. Not to put the numbers out there. Come on, fam. Yeah, you know, that was wrong. That was just totally. via numbers, it depends. You can trace someone's address. Because mm. if, for example, I remember Facebook, and they used to have a thing way back, you know, because I've got stalker tendencies sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook, if I had someone's numbers. <laughs> Confession time. If I had someone's numbers, you could search. They, it's, it doesn't work anymore. You could search where you search names on Facebook. Yeah. Mm. Put that number up. For real? And the person's name wow. would come up because... How do you it, even come up with that, so? Eh? How do you even come up Stalkers, with that? bro. <laughs> like, yo, I'm some, a former stalker. That's, that's a, a CIA stalker. shit, bro. Maybe still a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. And you'd find the person's profile would come up. Mm. You know what I mean? And things could come up I'm sure up you could do the, the same thing on Google as well. On Google? Oh, yeah. Because the person works for City Press. Yeah. Put their number up, the email address could come up. LinkedIn. Right? Mm. If the email address is public on Facebook Ish. or or some some way or LinkedIn, you search it on that website. The the profile comes up. Mm. You know what I mean? If the profile comes up, you could do anything. You could save their face. Go to Google uh, image search, search see where the image comes up till you find one place. I got like a corner, and she's put up something a bit private or personal, and you can track someone. So it's yeah. very dangerous to release people's numbers out there. You know what I noticed with the the, the celeb interviews I've been doing. Yeah. Why, why, what's up with celebrities like denying things that everybody knows is true? For example, like when I asked Dudu Zani, are you smashing? What's the name? What's that girl's name? I forgot. Pongolo. Pongolo. Tuli. Tuli. Yeah. Tuli. Yeah. Everybody knows they mm. are. So why don't I just say, yeah? Or maybe everybody's speculating that they are. Because ah, what man. proof do we have? True. If there's no sex tape, there's no proof. But what, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> For real. If there's no sex tape or one of them saying we smashed, there's no proof. But why do you think they do that? Because, ghost lady, if I'm smashing you, I'm telling everybody. <laughs> I'm printing a fucking shirt. <laughs> I smashed <laughs> ghost lady. <laughs> Is it could be an allegation again, but yeah. that we deny. You understand? So or, it's 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 just it could either or. Everyone could believe it, but it's like no. There's someone true. okay. Just there's someone. There's someone we, we we interviewed the, during the week. Ne? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We on the show we asked him, "Yo, did you smash this person?" He's like, "Nah, nah I don't even know who that person is." When we are done recording, cameras off. He's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I smashed." I smashed. <laughs> 
and I knew you know that I mean? smashed. I'm like, ah, but then why don't you own it? And no one knows actually, like that they've ever smashed or. But that lady used to post this guy's things a lot, a promo, and he used to follow her. She used to follow him. Mm. Now she no longer posts. They no longer follow one another. It's mm. And he has said in public he likes girls with thick asses. And the girls got like top five thick asses on Instagram and SA. You know? And he was like, no, no, no. But I think, you know why? Because he's currently in a relationship. Yeah, but it's not like he was doing that now. Like it's his past. That's true though, right? So why not own it? Yeah. But I think because, you know, maybe some... People in relationships ask, who have you smashed? Who have you, and you're like, and then he didn't mention her. We'll just wait for the couple of weeks and put two and two together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, yeah. All right. That shit is all but right. as a girl, as a girl, let's say you're smashing to design. Okay. And uh, he goes on a pl- public platform yeah. and says he's not. How would you feel as a girl? If I'm thinking that we have this relationship that should be open and then he's denying, obviously it feels bad. But if I know if it's a secret, then and we don't want no one to know. We don't want no one to know. Mm. So that's the thing. It's, it depends on the conversation or how the relationship is. You know, if it's undercover, literally you are meeting each other at night at 2 a.m., wherever, then you're literally hiding. Ah, but if that's you're holding only for hands grenades. in Santin, Aike, you can't deny me. <laughs> We only see grenades after nine. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb squad. No! You become the bomb squad. You wear your bulletproof vest. You want to go see her, your helmet. You know? Strap up. You strap up. You definitely strap up. Yeah, because you don't want you don't want this to be uh, have descendants of grenades. Huh? They'd be like, oh. It was totally shrimp nan. <laughs> hey, my man, have a contract with Danelle, supplying them with grenades. <laughs> No, but ish. yeah, man. I, I, and the girl oh, okay. oh, is, 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 is kissing and telling a thing, or it's not a thing. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. Yeah, it's not mm. a thing. It's where not does a that thing. come from? Oh, guys, in the in this world of sidekicks, you know, and side ninjas, you know. Yeah, you know, can't be. Can't just be. Do you kiss and tell? So no, I don't kiss mm. and tell. I Am I the only one? How? You kiss and tell. <laughs> Because you can't, because you can't just ever keep a secret. When yeah. you can't, yeah, 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 no, no, makes you can't yeah, keep no. a secret. Oh, don't no. tell this guy anything. 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 Yo, don't, don't. <laughs> he will come out now. Ah, uh, don't lie. So you've told me some shit. I've kept it quiet. Look at he's about to he's about oh, to yeah, release yeah, your yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, about yeah, to release shame, your has. stuff. No, shame, he has. He has. Oh. No, no, Mara, yeah. piss me off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. If you wow. try to leave this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, in the comment sections, let us know is kiss and tell a thing or not? Do you kiss and tell? I'd want to find out from, from our chillers, man. Because mm. if it's not, then I'll but stop. But amongst friends, obviously, people do, you know. It's bragging you, rights. Not even bragging rights. You tell, you know, your friends, you confide in your friends, like, yo, oh, by the way. You yeah. Know? yeah. 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 But yeah. if it's something that you know that you're doing, and even your friends will probably not even agree with that, huh? then you'll die with your lies. <laughs> oh man! Oh, wow. All right. So the Septas have announced that they will now have a category that is inclusive of online content. Hey. They must just give it to us. They must just give oh, it to yeah. us. Yeah. And the winner is yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah, give it to us already. The, our, our, thank you, Septas. Oh, yeah, oh, man. So cool. But we need like a whole, <laughs> just a whole award ceremony just on like. Uh, content stuff like oh, yeah, oh yeah. I think yeah. So. there's so Actually, much there's too much because yeah. now it'll be the debate would be okay do you classify which content is this and yeah. this content is this a know? podcast mm. is this yeah, a what yeah exactly mm. you have competing with the makeup artist and you know there's mm. just too much categories out there what's up with this girl that everybody likes the makeup lady which uh, one Miss- Jenny Aiko or whatever is it Jenny Aiko Jenny Aiko is a musician Jenny Aiko yeah there's yeah. another makeup artist man Jackie Aina. Jackie Aina. Oh. Yeah, she's I a big know. deal, ne? Oh, she's a big deal. Yeah. Oh. Every, every female, like, makeup artist, I believe, they love Jackie Why Aina. Why is it so big? It's, it's just makeup. Like, she's how many times states. can you do makeup? Like, I just, she's just so genuine. And she's been doing this. It's like she's one of the people that I guess that's started, like, the content mm. creation with makeup over the years. Well, black women especially. Like, mm. she leads it. Mm. That thing is huge. Yeah, it's huge. Makeup. Like, it's like massive, her Facebook... Yeah, um, I mean, Michelle, that's how, YouTube. Uh, how she started. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. a lot of these, um, I think, 
But what makeup I'm trying lovers, to say is, like, is there's so much you can do with makeup. There's a lot. Yeah, For real. There's a lot. I mean, remember, um, well, it wasn't makeup, really. That uh, the weekend thing, but oh yeah, 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 yeah you can. Oh, by the way, that was for a music video. Yeah, 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 music yeah, video. yeah the, the weekend when we said he's surgery. No, it was for a music video. Yeah. There's some effects slash makeup. Thing. It's just that he dragged that thing for too long, so it almost looked like he went it, through. That's him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's so, so you can do a lot, bro. Makeup, like how they make people, like for example, Michael Jackson. That's a old example. Michael Jackson Thriller. Yes. You know what I mean? When you make people look like zombies, that's all in the makeup. World, mm. it's not just gold, bronze nose, <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, you know, <laughs> and fake lashes. Nah, bro, it's a huge thing. Yeah, it's a huge I think thing. I think huge people, scene. you know, like the big makeup artists. What if they've helped? Is that you know, because makeup is so there's so much products there and mm. so much brands, mm. and then they have literally broken down how to do everything, whether it's a brow, or your eyebrows, or lipsticks, and the whole f- makeup. If you just watch. A makeup tutorial. Mm. That's when you see, like, whoa, there's a lot in this makeup game, guys. And you need people out there to be training mm. these girls. Hey, I don't know. I'll never understand. Babies. We'll never understand it. No, no we'll big. never we understand. Love it. Makeup. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, you want Rupert? Did you hear he took a vaccination in Switzerland? How he jumped the queue. Yeah. How? But why yeah. are people surprised, though? He jumped the yeah. queue. Man, people don't work that hard. Okay, he didn't work. He, he inherited, and also he worked hard. People don't work that hard to be billionaires just to stand in queues. Mm-hmm. You queue. want to be rich so that your kid don't have to stand in queues. Hundred percent. And also, he's one of the highest taxpayers in Switzerland. Because is Richmond, that where he stays? Eh? Is that where he stays? He's got a house there and probably houses because Richmond, his brand, um, well, company that owns all the luxury brands, champagnes, etc., yeah. is based in Switzerland. Mm. So you can, and the company makes like 14 revenue, billion euros mm. every year. Yeah. Well, that's what they made last year, right? So how can you then not, I mean, the guy pays so much taxes there. And I'm pretty sure he's not the only billionaire from Switzerland who got the vaccine before the normal, uh, the average uh, person. But it sounds like the VSOP vaccine, that one. It sounds like <laughs> the, the legit of one. Of course. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, he's got doctors. Dude. He's got, like, yeah. private doctors. I mean, the, the, the vaccine, the place where he got the vaccine, uh, those hospitals, that group that owns the hospitals, is owned by Mediclinic, which he has, a, like, 40% ownership or some own stake in. Mm. Do you get me? So, like, obviously he's got doctors, he's private doctors who double check that vaccine, you know? The but contradicting, nah, it's not for though. The it's not for the Africans, this one. You'll be fine, you can still have kids, yeah! No, I'm kidding. But you know what's but, contradicting with that? Mm. It's because, now people were saying, ha, ah, you know, getting shocked at Johan Rupert's, the fact that he got the vaccine. Yeah. But the CEO of Pfizer was like, he was not going to get the vaccine because he doesn't want to jump the queue. So oh, now people are like, hey, if the CEO one? doesn't want to take, like, we also don't want to check the queue. What vaccine is exactly? Exactly. Hence I'm saying, so he it was must so have contradicting. Mm. No, if but there's, there's a real vaccine and there's a fake yes, one. Yes, definitely. Johan Rupert is not getting the fake vaccine. Mm. So if, so the CEO, He's the, not. so the Pfizer vaccine is not real because <laughs> the CEO <laughs> fi- like doesn't want to take it. But there's a lot. There's one from India. There's, there's from Russia. India, yeah. There's a lot. China has its own. Yeah. What I'm out of the Indian one. one. <laughs> For you, half price, man. <laughs> Just for you. <laughs> wow, guys. Hey, my friend. Hey, my friend. Hey, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. You'll come back and get the real one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is how they um, inherited or um, accumulated their wealth, but I heard, like, the Ruperts, you know, how it started is that they came up with a bank, like their own bank. Mm-hmm. And then after having that bank, that's when they started just buying like companies. And it just grew from there, from there. Mm. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. It wasn't banks though. It wasn't the, banks. The f- first, first one. Because it was Johan Rupert's dad. Mm-hmm. He inherited. I'm, I'm not, I don't think it was banks, man. Because I know there's a garage story of a business starting in the garage. I think it was cigarettes. Okay, that may uh, actually that may have been Johan Rupert, but I don't think it was the banks. But you're right. I mean, they own R and B, mm. which is like F and B and West Bank that group. So 
Yeah. And um, that nigga's money, bro. Yeah, oh. dude. Then they've got wines, oh, okay. obviously. They've got a yeah. shitload of wines. They've got a country. <laughs> <laughs> they've got a president. <laughs> uh, they've got... Uh, <laughs> they have us. <laughs> yeah. Wherever Johan Rupert enters a building, he needs to take out his keys, you know, <laughs> for the metal detectors. And I'm a pastor also. <laughs> He's in pocket. the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But, I mean, that's... Yeah, they... They've done that, but I don't know if that's how it's... I doubt that's how it started. Yeah. Yeah. And then lastly, um, Vin Diesel was invited by... Oh, Master KG. Oh, was man. invited by Master Vin Diesel. Master KG, yeah. Vin Diesel. Yes. Guys. Was his, uh, so the wife, dope maybe. having dinner, mm. bro. Ah. Is, that, is that really like... Do you still get... Um, but the thing is, like, what, what does... Diesel, what are you about to say, bro? It's two humans having dinner, dog. Yeah, oh, but, but... Come on. One... Is a human that none Fast of us and the in this furious. Yard have access to. Yeah. Fast <laughs> and on. the furious kind of human. Have dinner with Obama. Your Obama follows me, by the way. A human following you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> then he says Obama follows me. Is he walking by your side? <laughs> exactly. Nah, bro. I think it's... A, it's, a, it's what are we talking about, though? Because th- it is a big deal. Yes, you've arrived, but... Why Vin Diesel? He's just a big fan of the song to the point that he just wanted Master KG yeah. over. I don't understand. Mm. I don't understand. And I'd be more happy, actually, if Master KG's song is, oh, maybe it's on the next a Fast Furious No movie. way. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Ooh. Let's think about it, you guys. See you. The producers reach out to Damn you. it. Your song's a global hit. Everybody knows the song. Ooh. It only makes sense oh. for the marriage of a global franchise such as Fast Furious to merge with uh, mm. Jerusalem. And he doesn't own the Think Masters. About it. Just the name. He doesn't own the Masters. And mm. he's Master KG. He just owns the name oh. Master. Who's the Master? Owns no, I'm the kidding. Master? I'm kidding. Don't I don't know. Say that. <laughs> don't no, but he's signed to one mic. Yes, he's yes. He's signed to one mic. Yes. Open mic, sorry. Open, Open mic, mic, yes. The same one as Makazi. Yes, same yes. one as. Oh, oh, he might not own his Masters. Because oh. there's no record label that just gives you to own your Masters. Who? Who? No one signs you and you own your master. Imagine not owning the no, master of Jerusalem. No, ah. he doesn't own. More scant. He doesn't own the masters to Jerusalem. Really? Ah, we can't, we can't, can't confirm or to, deny. Go to court and have a court battle. And then though you'll call that Bethlehem. <laughs> <laughs> Once you sign your right away, you can't fight it, eh? Yes, Once you... From Jerusalem to Bethlehem. Yeah, when he's in, in, in a court battle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh man. So... Battling for the bacon. Battling yeah. for the ham. But that would be dope. Ham. The Fast and the Furious thing, that would be... That would be, be so you dope, see, bro. Why, though? Think about it, For those reasons, guys. that would be so dope. Yeah, think about I it. Agree. I why agree. would a man with the one of the biggest songs in the world... Meets with Vin Diesel, who's on possibly the biggest movie franchise in the world. Yeah. Why? I think it was just a perk. Are they still shooting movies during COVID? I don't know. They are under very strict like regulations. You know, they really try. Mm. Yeah, they Mm. really, really try. Mm. But you know, sometimes you still get that. That one case and yes. then things, then production has to stop and whatever, mm. restarting this, you know. Like you heard with um, who's that comedian, Dave Chappelle? Yeah, he yes. had to oh, stop yes. his tour. Yes, yeah, he was on a tour. Yeah, I think they, so. They're having tours in America. Yeah. But the thing is, with him him and his staff were te- like having tests every day. Even like if you're attending the show, you'd mm. have to have a COVID oh. like, test. They were really doing the most mm. to protect everyone. And have themselves. you seen there's this new thing where comedians do the show from their house? Oh, yeah. And get an audience to come in. Mm. That's the, the thing these days, yeah. Um, which I think is dope. I mean, it's been I'm not going to say we started it. I mean, you know. <laughs> But we the lead, they follow. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else was supposed to have a show like that? Hmm? Somizi. Is it? Yeah, when the producer of uh, uh, um, Somizi's cooking, cooking show, show. Yeah. Legend Mangale, bar leader, SA, or bar leader is the company. Remember this this whole thing going on? They're being accused of accused, stealing yeah. Hasting Moen. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yes. so uh, Legend finally spoke and was like, no. Let me take you back to the start of how this thing actually started. Yeah. It was supposed mm. to be an online show. Oh. Yeah, an online show. And the, the initial 
uh, for Sumizi, the cooking show, and the initial one, initial name that was suggested was Straight Out of the Kitchen. Ah, oh, yeah, dope. Yeah, exactly. Dope, and dope. he would then be on YouTube or whatever streaming platform, yeah. and people would be able to... Uh, 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 Interact with him via the comments. Oh cetera. shit! Why didn't he do that? That's dope. Man. I don't know. Well, then Legend, because I mean, Somizi has worked with Legend, and Legend is a big deal. Then mm. Legend spoke to Somizi, and he was like, "Nah, man, try it for TV, because yeah. you know, most of your like you know people know you have TVs." And then they pitched it to Multi Choice, and they tweaked it. Tweaked it. Multi Choice was like, "We don't like the name. Mm. Change the name." And then. That's how the show came about, as we know it. Mm. And uh, Legend says they've got proof mm. on emails. And Multi Choice have tried to settle this out of court. For real? Hastings. This is a big mm. thing, Moose. Meaning he, he rejected man. Yeah. Meaning he feels thing, his, his case is strong enough. Mm. Yeah. Right? And, uh, but Legend still insists, like, yo, bro, you come up with a cooking show, because what happened was also, like, you know, uh, Somizi spoke to Legend. I mean, not Somizi. Legend spoke to Hastings, the guy who's accusing him of stealing the show, after Jim, sneaking eight years ago, et cetera, and he sent the email, but Legend is like, I didn't see the email. Mm. Mm. So now, yeah, so the guy thinks he's got a strong enough case. Hmm. But how do you prove, though? Yeah, but the thing is, there's nothing new under the sun. I mean, I mean yes, cooking shows have absolutely been. Absolutely nothing new. Mm. And you've presented one to Somizi and... I love Hastings, he's my boy, you know? But then, why would he wait eight years later? Oh, you know Hastings. Hastings! Dog, he was in the Y Academy at YFM. You lie. <laughs> yeah, you don't know Hastings. Ah, yeah, yes. like, that's where I met Hastings at YFM. Jeez, he didn't learn much at the Academy. How? What did he learn much? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hastings never wanted to be an A. He's eh. like a, he's into content creation. Producing, hey, but remember journalism. that the show only came that's out now, um, like now, the, yeah. the, the cooking show. I guess it's that's a, why he's out now because obviously, before all these years, it's not like the show was so he had nothing to fight for because mm. it was an idea that he had sent years back. Mm. And then when he sees it now play out, you'll be like, Whoh, that's my idea. Mm. That's Didn't they teach her a patent in the white academy? <laughs> <laughs> A cooking show. <laughs> a cooking show. We didn't learn about patents <laughs> and copywriting ideas, or can you even copyright ideas? No, we didn't. But we sort of did, actually. In copyright, yeah. We sort of did, yeah. Like the basic thing of if you have an idea, email it to yourself. Yes. Remember, I that learned that at Y Academy. Yeah, yeah. The Y Academy. Yeah. The one so, I was awake. <laughs> <laughs> the one class I was awake. It was punishment. You catch He joined the internship as punishment because <laughs> he was already a DJ and they punished him. Hey, Kevin Pillay. Yeah, yeah Kevin Pillay. Hey, Kevin Pillay. So, yeah, man, um, we'll see, though, what happens with that. But I think it's a difficult case to prove, bro. Yeah. Very difficult. I mean, does it mean that if MASH gives me an idea, right? It's like, so um, do a show where you preview or you review strip clubs. Does it mean that TV That's coming, by the way. We're working on that. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Shit. Yeah, we're going to be previewing strip clubs on the show and only fans on the show. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, just now, every week on the comments, where's the strip club <laughs> show? <laughs> hey, you know you're jealous. <laughs> but if someone gives me an idea, does it mean I can't pursue it? Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm. Uh, what if someone told you, hey, man, how about you start a podcast like five years ago? Yeah. And does it mean now you can't do it? Without seeming like you're a thief, you've stolen an idea. Mm. Unless there are specific, like, ideas or features within that show that you stole. Mm. Then you can yeah. say, yeah. But if I just give you a blanket idea yeah. of, hey, how about you do a cooking show? Or how about you do this oh, show? Oh, like, you cook very nicely. Ah, you should have a, you should, uh, have a cooking, uh, like... Mm, you see, ah, so, but this shit happens all the time. I remember I sent MTN a proposal years back, like maybe uh, ten. They owe you <laughs> ten, eight years. Yeah. Uh, um, for MTN Radio, gave him the whole. Oh, flip for real. Yeah, gave him the whole presentation. Yeah. The whole shebang. Yeah. And they're like, ah, oh, no, we really don't like this. We're not feeling it. It's not the vibe. I'm like, I right, clean, keep it moving. Jiggy jiggy, MTN Radio. 
Heaven. Uh, <laughs> there see. it is. Where's that That's, email? Ah, somewhere. It's in my Gmail. Uh, you see? <laughs> <laughs> we can retrieve it. For real. <laughs> and send it to them. Like, look. For real. You see, yes. that's tricky, man. Because now Vodacom has got Vodacom Radio. Every retail out, like, chain. Mm, pair, mm, mm. Pick and pay. Ackermans, pick and pay. They all have retail radio. Yeah. So what if they were just following a trend? Mm. Or mm. what if they stole your idea? Mm. But then again, was your idea that unique? That was pretty dope. Mm. Yeah. Uh, say so myself. You, you see, just have a radio it, show. <laughs> a radio station is not dope. <laughs> like, you see, like I said. But it was if, unthought of then. I'm, I'm, I'm just. When, what year was this? Yeah. It was like 10 years ago. 10, eight years uh, ago. Ra- and Photocom was already doing radio, I think. Is wasn't, it? Weren't they doing radio already? No, 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 no. It wasn't like she's saying, it wasn't a thing. You're, okay. So why didn't you sue them? Exactly. Ah, I just, I was like, whatever, man. Uh, uh, like I'm not in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, speaking about the podcast Growing. Ladies and gentlemen We'd like to introduce to you our Where's newest Dini? member Where's Dini? Dini! 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 Ah, uh, she's already fucking out on her first day Who can tell? Mesh, please call Dini there Tell her, tell her, hey, we, we, we're gonna, we're ready to rock and roll. Ah, there's Dini! Dini! Yay! Yeah. 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 Round of applause for Dini! Dini. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, 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 welcome. Do you know my shekho? Hi, Dini's mate. Turner, son. I'm good, how are how you? How you love? I'm good. Yeah, I see you guys, you want to come for a title <laughs> as the biggest podcast in not SA? Even. Yeah. No, come for it, come for no, it. No, guys, not even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you guys good? We good, good man. Dini. Tell us more about I've this podcast. I've been around listening to all this nonsense. Yeah. Hey, you guys are going through, are going in. Hey, <laughs> Woo, how you guys have never been to the BCCSA? <laughs> what? We are yeah. not covered. The BCCSA yeah. can eat a dick. Yeah. We're, not, <laughs> we're not governed within the laws of BCSA. Oh, yeah. the people have given me a tough time. Before, hey, me too, bro. Right? Shut my yeah, pants. Yeah. Yes, as you. Me too. Kenton took wife and moved it straight next door to the BCSA. Just for you. Yeah, so when. <laughs> So I got in trouble once on radio and it was just a walk next door. Yeah. Now Business CSA can go to hell. This is not Business CSA jurisdiction. <laughs> this is why you guys are so wild, no? Yeah. Tell us about the podcast. What's happening? Um, so yes. yes. There's a new podcast coming. Enda, 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 Enda. Be under podcast and chill. Yes. <laughs> it's a ladies' podcast. Yes. Oh, MacGyver has been promising people yeah. a women's podcast or ladies' podcast oh, rather brilliant. since last year. Yeah. August. Mm. And yeah. it's finally happening. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be myself, Zanele Potelwa, and Ghosty. Mm. She had to be part of the package so that it can happen. Um, I'm joking. Mm. But <laughs> 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 Ouch. <laughs> no, get that, like, get that. But uh, basically, so the podcast is going to be called On the Table. Nice. Oh, On um, the Table. Who came up with, uh, with, with that name? I, I like the we, name. No, it was Ghosty, actually. Mm. Yeah, it was Ghosty in like a little WhatsApp group and we were bouncing around names and then she sort of like came up with like, I think five different names. Yeah. Mm. And then On the Table just sort of like, Oh, and shout out to uh, Majosi. Okay, Majosi, the photographer. Yes! Did you see the pictures? Yes! We look smart. I'm like, which one is this one? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> but which one is this one? Hey, have you seen them? Let me show you. Uh, no, no, Saul, let me show look, you. Look, Fuck, okay, let me show you. Okay, while Mac and Saul are busy oogling over our pictures. Hey, so this guy's good, eh? Yeah, yeah. Majosi. Mm. So basically, okay, on the table is going to be a structured podcast, not like... Podcast and chill, which is what sets it different. No, 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 there's nothing wrong with podcast and chill. Podcast and chill is what not to do. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. We're going to talk about trending topics, but we're going to have a bit more structure, obviously. Um, we're gonna select a variety of topics, and then we're gonna. Is just... it gonna be men or trash every week? No, definitely not. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. It's not. It's not about trashing men. Oh. Um, it's just about. It's a light-hearted, fun, having fun, just sitting across with your girls over a glass of wine. Well, Beautiful. since alcohol is. <sighs> yeah, that was gonna be. Yeah, we'll do <laughs> my favorite drinks tea. That Let me show is you just picture. a lot for me. So basically, that's what. Um, on the table is going to be about. So it's just lighthearted, fun conversations with your girls over a glass of wine. And yeah, so it's a bit more structured than podcast and chill. Discussing different topics. And then we're going to have 
a product of the week that we're going to review, but that's going to come in a bit later on. Oh, you guys are going to do that now? Yes. Oh, dope, like what kind dope. of products? Any kind of product. It can be something as mundane as like, what's the best lip? Like mundane, I know, the structure there. <laughs> mundane. Vibrators. <laughs> Vibrators. Oh, you know, so we'll, we'll definitely do that. Um, but yeah, that's basically what it's going to be like. So I hope your chillers are going to... Are you going to sample you know. the products? Yes. The Vibrators. The vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was quiet. I'm just like, I did not think that. Look at this, bro. Look at this. Here's the pictures. Oh, the pictures yo, are which one things. now? Hey, what? Yo, 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 yo. What? You you look too dope. And they got a whole intro, bro. What? We look too what? dope. What? Too dope. Yo, so you guys no, 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 no. I'm supposed to be leaving because we're recording the first episode today. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. It's too much. But anyway, fuck your podcast. The real reason we have you here. Yes. Premier Media didn't sell. Oh, she works at Prime Media. <laughs> she works at the company. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, she's got the, 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 the news. <laughs> you do that to her. Yo. We just she, initiated her. Yo. Welcome. Welcome. welcome we love you. So, yeah, make sure you check it out on the Table Podcast. Uh, we're going to yeah. have two episodes a month, ne? Yeah. We're going to start bi-weekly. Yes. And then grow from there. Yep. Perfect, man. It's I can't wait, lovely. man. It's going to be yeah. 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 Ladies doing their thing, yes. talking about their uh, what? experiences. Yeah. And yes. Life. You, you, like, yeah. Yeah. you get to hear us on a much more in-depth. In-depth. Are you guys going to have guests and stuff? We could. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. We'd yes. love to have guests. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Guests. yeah. 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 All right, cool. Anything else you want to say before we wrap up? No, no, no. no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Yeah. And you go, Steve? Ah, uh, just look out for the ladies' podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be dope, guys. Yeah, yeah. I saw the 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 the, the, the intro. Yeah. Fuck it up. That looks Ooh. good. Mesh. Yo. Mesh is dope, man. Yo. Mesh. Hi. I can't wait to see it. Hey? I can't wait to see the intro, actually. Big shout out to Melican Media for making us look good, man. They, these guys make yeah, us look Melican good. Yeah, Melican are the guys who are responsible for everything you everything see. Here. Like the animations, the intros. Oh, they were loving the thing, the Buntle intro. Oh, you yeah, that's Mesh. When those pictures were rotating, mm. uh, the Insta pictures, I'm fine. Yeah. I, I, you guys are, I, people yeah. love that thing. And you're still, you still doing drip, ne? Ah, they do guys. drip. I shout out to Malik. They do more fire. Oh, you do more fire now? Hey. They do more fire. Hey. Oh, some hey. oh, hey. hey. oh, pana. Hey, man. Yo. Look at that party as well. Oh, BMW. Hey. You hey. ain't got that. Yo. Now they're doing wimpy. <laughs> 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 that do. <laughs> You can't say that one. <laughs> yeah, dog. They always been selling the new Facebook logo. <laughs> <laughs> Black child is possible. Yo. <laughs> man. Oh yeah, shit. We gotta we gotta DM Trevor, man. Hey, this uh, Trevor thing is not working. It's been a month uh, now, bro. Is, is it at least reading? It's only Nothing. February, guys. It's only, like, it's only January. No, like it's only the January. Mm. Dear Trevor. I think maybe we must call Caesar Loma next week. Okay. Yeah, I must call Caesar, man. And then ask Caesar to call Trevor while we're on the line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll Actually, wait. yeah, mm. that would work. Mm. Or oh, Kaya Tlanga, even. Kaya. I feel like Kaya Trevor now would Answer Caesar's calls. Of course, they're, they're like, they're like, yeah. After Kaya went all the way to the America, just now. I, I think, hey, Trev, it's I, me again. Caesar, yeah. I'm tired of typing, but hey. <laughs> no, 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 come on, that comes across as rude. No, don't send that. Delete that. Delete, delete that. Delete, delete. Say it's me Same typing again. again. <laughs> I don't mind. It's not a problem. Mm. <laughs> come on, you need to. Like, hey, la, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Sent. How? What How did you say? I say, hey, Trev, it's me again. Hit me up. How? <laughs> I can tell it, guys. Entitlement, <laughs> man. Oh. You sound so entitled, bro. Sure. Hit me up. <laughs> this is Trevor Noah. He's not going to read it. He's not going to read it, man. So, oh, okay. Ah. We, we, will, we will type for him next time. Next, Yes. Next yeah. time I type next with week? ghosty types. Yeah, yeah? yeah, we'll type for you. All right, cool, man. Uh, make sure you check us out on Super TV Channel 150 yeah. on yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mondays. Open View. Yes. Yeah, Mondays, Mondays and, and Fridays. Mondays. And uh, make sure you use the Super Bits uh, affiliate link in the description below for everybody that is into betting. Everybody except Sol. Except Sol. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sol is no longer in gambling. Yeah, and I'm no longer in stocking. Anymore. So. Yeah. 
No, stock. It will be stock. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just stock. I was like, psh, psh. <laughs> hey, man, should we dropping this week? Of course. Which interview are we dropping? Zakes. Oh, yeah, oh. we got Zakes oh, coming up Zakes this week. Bandwini. Yeah, he oh, was, was dope, man. Matita. How was it? How was ah, it? Ah, he was dope, man. He's got so much knowledge to drop. Yo. The is it? Of oh, yes. The new age, hey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Zakes. And he's so educated, the guy, bro. Yeah. Isn't he's he like going a, to Harvard? He's like yeah, a he is. Yeah. He's going to Harvard. He oh. went to Gibbs. Ooh. He studied music, jazz, mm. Light music. Oh, ah, no, the guy is... Even yeah. how Zakes dances, you can see it's it's. Skilled. Yes, he's traveled the world mm. dancing. Mm. Yo, you'll check it out. And, yo, Zakes. Yeah. He's too much. Yeah, I know. He's a lot. Podcast and chill. We out of here, man. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Drop it. Enda. Barmini. <laughs>